is up welcome back to my channel I get all my excitement in right now oh my god as you guys can tell by the title today we are unboxing my brand new <laughs> MacBook I picked up the MacBook Air M1 the fall 2020 release and you guys if you guys are new to my channel, first of all, hi, hello, my name is Carter. I typically make productivity post-grad work week videos. I'm starting to dabble in the technology field. I would love it if you hit subscribe. We are so close to 20K. But a little savvy moment. I currently have a 2015 at MacBook Air. She is in great condition, honestly. I'm actually selling it. But she just has enough, enough power for what I do. And if you guys are also new here, I am on a debt-free journey right now and it's really emotional because like a year and a half ago, I was living like paycheck to paycheck, dollar to dollar. I could not even afford to put gas in my car sometimes. And to like be unboxing and be able to afford a brand new MacBook is so surreal. And I know you guys are here for the unboxing and I promise this won't be long, but it's just a very, very surreal moment. And I'm just really proud of myself. I worked really hard to save up for this. And I'm really excited to unbox it. Obviously, if you guys are here for an unboxing with like tons of tech specs, this is probably not the video for you, but I personally like to watch unboxings from people that aren't necessarily tech YouTubers. I don't know, I just I really like the different point of view. And until the end, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I customize it and set it up. This is obviously a huge jump for my 2015 MacBook Air. Um, and I was deciding between this and the old Pro, not the M1 Pro, and ultimately I decided to go with the M1 Air. I did so much research, I read so many reviews, I talked to so many people at Apple and Best Buy and everyone kind of agreed that the M1 with not having a fan and being like the fastest processing Mac on the market right now would be good for video editing and that was my biggest concern was video editing, like could another Air handle video editing because that's why I'm getting rid of my Air and everyone agreed that yes it could. I'm going to give it 30 days and if I don't think it kind of is like up to the standard that I think it is, I will exchange it for a Pro. But I'm fairly confident after all the reviews and videos I've watched that the MacBook M1 Air is going to be great. And I'm really excited to review this for you guys and unbox it because I know a lot of you guys are post-grad or in college and don't necessarily have the funds to buy the MacBook Pro because they are significantly more expensive. So I wanted to unbox it and give you guys my review because the Air is a bit on the more inexpensive and cheaper side, especially if you guys are in the US and you're a student. Um, so I wanted to give you guys kind of that review as well. And if you guys are in the market for a new MacBook and can't afford a Pro, the MacBook Air M1 is a great alternative. So let's unbox this baby. As you guys can already tell, the plastic is off of it, and that's because I took my sweet puppy with me to pick it up at Best Buy yesterday, curbside pickup, and you know, like the little dangly piece that's on it that you like pull. Uh, she thought it was fun and played with it, so I had to take the whole plastic thing off, but she's brand spanking new, and the reason for this is unreal because I got this last night, and I chose to wait until today to do the unboxing so I had quality lighting for you guys, but this is such a surreal moment for me, you guys. I started 2020 off with $10,000 of debt and I'm currently in my last $500 of paying it off and I told myself when it was paid off or in the month of paying it off I'd buy myself a new MacBook so like this signifies way more than just buying a MacBook. I signify as becoming debt free and all those things but okay let's just open it. I'm too excited. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the MacBook Air M1, the 256GB storage um, in the space gray because we love space gray around here. I don't even like know where to begin or like how to take it out. Oh my god, it's so sleek and tiny. I'm going to show you guys a comparison after between this and my old MacBook, but this is so sleek. Holy cow. And the only things that come in it are the little instructions, the charger and I had the old one the what was it the MagSafe so this is an upgrade which is exciting and I will show you guys that up close what that looks like but I think that's all that's in here the most satisfying part oh my goodness wow she is pristine look at that beauty oh my god it's so beautiful you guys okay I'm just so excited right now. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna take off. You guys! Holy cow, it's 
so freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. All right, guys, let's set this up. So English, and we are in Canada. Oh my gosh, it just is amazing. Holy cow. Okay, that literally took like a minute. Holy cow, that was so slow. Um, can Okay, so it can transfer information to your MacBook. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to do this after just because I don't feel like doing it now. Alright. Okay, I guess while we wait, we can just satisfyingly take that out. We'll set that up later. That's cool. You can have screen time. I set up Siri. God, wait, there's touch ID on this? Oh my god, that's so cool, guys. What the heck? I don't know which one I like. Light, dark. I kind of like the dark. I'm going to go with the dark for now. <clears throat> We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch, people. Yay. Oh my gosh, you guys. How nice. Okay, wow. The trackpad and turn on right click. <laughs> I'm going to just take some stuff out of my launch pad that I don't use, so I don't use it. First thing I'm going to do is download Google Chrome because <laughs> I am a Chrome gal. Okay, amazing. Okay, now I'm just going to sign into my Chrome. Download that. There we go. How beautiful is that? We're gonna show you guys some of the customizations I'm gonna do like right off the bat. So I went into my system preferences so I can hide my dock. Um, so you're just gonna click on dock and then um, I like to hide both of them. I don't like to have them open like unless I want them open if that makes sense. So then I need to, I guess figure out how to use Big Sur first of all. I'm gonna make some folders. Now I'm gonna change the accent color because I really like doing that. And I just don't know what color I want. Maybe gray. Oh, I really like gray. Let's do gray. It's very nice and classy. And then I obviously need to play around with like some widgets from Big Sur, but I'll do that after. Before I end the video off, I want to give you guys like a quick comparison between them. So this is like I said, my MacBook Air 2015. And then that is the new Air. So definitely size difference, but I'm really excited. Obviously I love the darker color, but this is the difference. Isn't that crazy? Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing and little customization bit. Let me know if you guys want to see more Mac videos. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but 2021 is all about stepping outside of my comfort zone. So let me know if you guys want to see some more. I can show you guys kind of like my widgets with Big Sur. Um, let me know. Let me know if you also kind of want like an update or review after one month. Like I said, I want to give it like a month to test it out, see how iMovie is without the fan, which is obviously the big reason why I got the Air. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much and lets me know that you guys liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what computer you guys use. I'd be so interested to hear. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!